But here we are in sunny Andorra, the capital of Andorra. Uh, nestled here in the mountains. I don't know if you can see bits of the mountains. I feel a bit out of my comfort zone in um, busy town centres like this. If you're sort of used to a rural lifestyle with not so many people around, this can be slightly intimidating. Everyone's impeccably clean as well. I mean, not that I'm a dirty, um, <laughs> dirty crusty all of the time, but uh, you do feel a bit self-conscious sometimes. Well, you know, free bottle of whiskey with your cigarettes. I think it's relatively tax-free here. Um, it's not even in the European Union. I think, I think at the moment it is actually an independent country of its own um, government. Um, but traditionally, it was um, shared by France and Spain. I think I think it was a French baron and a Spanish prince. Um, had ownership of it originally. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, it's really busy. I mean, it's the height of um, holiday season, I guess. I'm trying to find the river. A um, little bit of a peace and quiet, but I thought I'd have a stroll through the town centre. I didn't sleep too well last night. Um, the campsite, um, I'll probably make a video about the campsite explaining that, but it's, it's quite close to a road and I uh, got woken up quite early by the traffic. But at the same time, it'd be almost impossible to find parking here for my van. Um, there's a lot of height barriers on the car parks and the cost of parking would probably be equivalent to a night on the campsite. And so I got a bus in from the campsite here today so I don't have any um, time constraints of parking and um, it's pretty hot so I didn't really want to be driving around in my van trying to find parking and then have to get back. I wonder what's through here. More GT3 shops. making a video. quite insulated here in some ways because I don't really understand or speak any Spanish. I know the odd number, of, um, I can understand a few numbers and things but uh, apart from that Right well I'm going to um, Turn the camera off, save a bit of battery, and try and find the uh, river. It's called Old Andorra. It's all pretty modern and new. Um, I 
mean, I've had a bit of a walk around and haven't really found anything um, old. <laughs> It's quite um it's quite picturesque in its own way. I mean this it's a very different style of um architecture compared to where I am in France. And it's really apparent I'm in a different country. Interesting. It's got to have something to do with Salvador Dali, surely. Correct. Well, I'm on the edges of um, town. I think this is called the historical centre. It's a bit more peaceful. But yeah, you can kind of see how nestled in the mountains it really is here. It looks like the church has got some age to it, in some pieces. I imagine it's got a, an old heart, as it were, with um, newer parts of the building clad on over the, over the centuries. Is there any information? In, it, in memoriams. Casa Rectoral. Um. <laughs> I wouldn't like to hazard a guess of what goes on there. Okay, so this is the historic centre. Whether that means that stone is the historic centre or the uh, general area, who knows? I mean, I don't want to be one of these people that complains about um, oh, they don't speak English and all this stuff, but... It would be nice if some of the tourist... tourist information was a bit more um, bilingual.
Well, it's actually been built on the uh, rocks of the mountain. By the look of it. So it's found this little uh, business park. It's got some uh, unusual sculptures. Oh wow, that's brilliant. <laughs> oh, how cool. This is the one that um, struck my eye actually. Initially, I thought it. It is. Okay. He's tricking me. I thought it was a gap in the buildings, then I thought it was a mirror. But it appears it is actually a gap in the buildings. the world is conspiring against me. I was trying to find somewhere peaceful to sit down and uh, smoke a pipe but there's lawn mowers and cars and so I'm not sitting down somewhere peaceful because uh, such a place doesn't appear to exist. Um, I'm smoking um, oh. it's a really nice pipe I got it um, unsmoked. Uh, it's, it was an estate pipe, but unsmoked. Uh, nice grain, uh, nine millimeter filter, really well made. And the only stamping it's got on it is a um, Metro. So um, it's anyone's guess, really. Oh, maybe I can um, sit on their bench now they've gone. And in it, I am smoking a Davidoff Scottish mixture. Now, I don't really know what a Scottish mixture is meant to be. Um, I've, I've smoked MacBaron's Scottish mixture, which is, I personally, I'm quite a fan actually. Um, it is mildly aromatic but in a, a pleasurable way. This, I'll show you the tobacco. No great surprises going on with the presentation. It doesn't smell aromatic, um, it just 
maybe there's some very mild topping on there but not it just smells like tobacco to me um, and that's kind of also what it tastes like um, It's a bit nondescript to be honest with you. And it's quite smooth, quite mild. I'm not really finding anything of much interest. Um, I'm not really picking out any individual notes of anything. Um, who knows? Um, it, could, it could be one of these um, tobacco. I found it with some tobaccos in the past. Um, some of the Peterson's tobaccos I've tried. They're straight out of the tin. They were a little bit neither here nor there. But after I'd let some air in and put them in the jar for a week or so, it's kind of like they came alive somehow. Um, this could possibly be the case of this but the first my first impressions are well I don't really have one which probably says a lot I mean it's not disgusting it's not wonderful it's just like I say a bit mediocre and a bit bland yeah but I say, you know, it might change after a week or two in a jar. But uh, at this moment in time, a thumbs down. <laughs> Just for um, lack of character. Right, guys, I'm going to um, wrap this video up here. Um, it's gone on for bloody ages, I'd imagine. Um, I'm going to get the bus now to uh, the Tobacco Museum. So that will probably be another video. Uh, otherwise... Yeah, no one's going to make it to the end. Um, it'll just go on for hours. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour of um, old Andorra that's uh, all quite sparkling and new. And the Shop of a Thousand Pipes. And see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye now.